When it comes to optimizing your digital marketing, how users are interacting with your website is an important piece of data to have. That's why today I wanted to take some time to compare two of the big screen recording and heat mapping tools on the market. We want, I want to break down Hotjar versus Microsoft Clarity. Hi, my name is AJ with Bite Size Digital. Uh, today I want to go over Hotjar versus Microsoft Clarity, how they're the same, how they're different, the pros and cons of using each, and which one maybe you should think about using. So I decided to do this article because a uh, customer was asking me the differences and I know how I use them but I wanted to make sure that I was covering all the bases and as I was going through looking at articles I realized that a lot of the articles were really outdated and so this video is kind of an effort to update some of the information that's out there about the two um, especially because Microsoft Clarity has made a lot of improvements in the past couple months so first off what do they have in common um, in terms of similarities, there are quite a few. Both have free options available. Hotjar has a free tier. Microsoft Clarity is completely free to use um, for all of their features. Additionally, they both have heat mapping and screen recording features. So if you're not aware, heat mapping gives you a visual color-coded uh, picture of your website and how people are using them. Typically, there is a few different types of heat maps you can look at. There's one about scrolling. There's one about clicking. There's one about, um, for Hotjar, there's one about how the cursor moves. So they're just a really useful way to kind of get an aggregate data of what people are using and where maybe you should look at frustration points on your website. And then screen recordings or session playback show you how individual users come in and work and, and use your website. And this is super useful. Um, for instance, we had a client where we were running ads. It was a very good product. And we noticed that there were a lot of add to carts, but no finishing the process. And in watching the screen recordings, we realized that we had them redirecting directly to the cart. It was the only product available on the website. So it just made sense. Make it easier. One less click, right? Well, people were getting frustrated. They had added it to the cart, but then they were trying to get back to that page and it was a landing page. And as many people know, landing pages often don't have the same navigation or don't have navigation at all on them. And so they'd get to the cart and then they'd be back in the normal path and they try to get back to that page and they couldn't. And so we were able to find that frustration and alleviate it and it helped get conversions. Um, so screen recordings are very useful. Um, and both of these tools help us do marketing better. They help us understand our users' behavior. And so if you're looking to dive into your website, if you're looking to optimize conversions, these are kind of necessities to really understand what is happening and get a humanized look at your website from a user perspective. They can reveal things that as developers, as marketers, we don't even think about because we know what we're doing. Um, and the users don't often do that. So now how are they different? <laughs> So we'll start with Hotjar. Hotjar is a very well-known uh, heat mapping tool. They have over 900,000 websites using their platform. They are kind of the standard. Um, pros, they're very well established. They've had a long time to work out the bugs in the system. They have great collaboration features for adding teammates and being able to share the data together. And then it has a paid version that you can utilize as your company grows that gives you access to extra features different ways of slicing up the data and exporting it even gives you access to their api so that you can do very custom um, targeted recordings and collection of data on your site and then their heat maps offer more functionality so they have actual cursor tracking to see how people are moving the mouse around you know that way you can see like a lot of a lot of times people will use their mouse to kind of read parts of the site and kind of underline it. And so you can see that it's, it's a really cool feature. And then also they have a user experience poll that you can add to your website and it will just pop up as people are using it. So you can collect some data about why they're not converting and actually reach out and talk to your users in a way directly while they're on your site. Some cons. Um, their free tier has limits. You have to go in and delete recordings, delete heat maps to make room for new ones. Um, and then also you can't, you can only have so many 
screen recording page is set up. It won't just capture a whole website. Um, there's no Google Analytics integration directly. You kind of have to bring that data together yourself. Um, there's no error tracking. So it's not going to tell you if the person had a JavaScript error or something else that may have impacted that experience. And then lastly, sometimes it fails to load images during playbacks. I have had some major heart attacks looking at screen recordings on uh, Hotjar because I think that the person was just seeing a broken website. And then I go and I spend hours trying to fix it, but I can't replicate it. And it this was early on in using it. And then I realized, oh, it's just it's not capturing it. So that is Hotjar in a nutshell. Next up, we have Microsoft Clarity. So Microsoft Clarity is definitely the underdog and they are the new kid on the block. Um, they've only been around for a couple of years. Um, they're just really starting to gain a foothold. Um, and they have grown a lot. So a lot, of the, a lot of the blogs that I was looking at when my customer asked me about the differences and me going back, making sure I wasn't missing anything, um, they were talking about the fact that you couldn't collaborate. You couldn't share the reports. Well, that's not true anymore. So a lot of those articles, you really should work with Microsoft Clarity to see if they're still real. If you come across something that says it can't do something, they have come a long way. Um, their platform is completely free, is the biggest pro. There's no trying to um, upsell you. There's not constant like, oh, hey, you could do this if only you were a pro member, which is really nice um, because a lot of times, especially with small businesses, we are on a budget and paying for one more tool is can be a lot. Um, and then it integrates with Google Analytics directly, which is also really nice because you can get some of the data about where they're coming from, um, how many conversions they actually made. It'll tie that data together for you. And it gives you some really interesting insights using that. Uh, it has a really nice dashboard. I love this. Uh, their dashboard is beautiful. It is so easy to navigate. Um, which just saves time explaining it to customers who want to look at their own data, like where to go and everything else. And then um, it does record user inactivity. He, Hotjar does this a little bit, but Microsoft Clarity does it better. And then the cons. There is limited user customization. Uh, you can't go in and like name a user and, and track that specific one. Um, there's no cursor tracking on heat maps, which can be a big deal to some people. Um, I don't really find it that big of a deal unless you need to track hovers. So on some websites, you have like flip boxes where you hover over it and it turns and you want to see if people are seeing that there's data on the other side. Since people aren't clicking on it, you would need the cursor tracking there. But unless there's something like this or like something really weird going on, um, you probably don't need cursor tracking, but a lot of people do want it. Microsoft Clarity doesn't offer that like I said, they're growing, so I could easily see them adding that in the future. Um, there's no user feedback option. They don't have that little pop-up that'll come up. That's a big thing for a lot of people. Um, sometimes we'll start using Microsoft Clarity and then switch to Hotjar just to get that feedback. But um, yeah, that is a big thing. I'm really hoping Microsoft Clarity does add that in the future because I, it, it is a very powerful tool. Um, but free products sometimes are a little slow to make those kinds of improvements. And then it's difficult to track specific pages. So on Hotjar, you can actually like set up pages to track the heat mapping and put a filter in place. Like I wanna see all of them come over here and be in this list. And it's really easy and simple to do. And on Microsoft Clarity, you can't do that. You can filter by them, but you can't like say, just track that specific page like you can on Hotjar. Now, if you're clever with coding, you can either through Tag Manager or just the code on your website, only add it to the specific pages you want to track. Um, but unless you're a developer, you probably don't want to be messing with that. Um, so yeah, those are the pros and cons, similarities and differences. So overall, these are both great tools. I have recommended them both to different people for different uses. As a digital marketer, either platform will be insightful for how your customers are interacting with your website. Hotjar is the older of the two. It's more established. It's had more time to work all the bugs out. And so if you want something that just works the way you expect it to work, Hotjar is the way to go. Um, it's had a lot of time to get the bugs ironed out, make the improvements it wants to make, and really build a solid platform. And 
Honestly, it does it well, except for that image loading thing. Um, but if you're just starting out, you're on a budget, you don't have a lot of traffic yet, Clarity is worth considering. Um, it's great if you just, if you're new to heat maps, if you want insights that Google Analytics brings in, learning how the two work together. And I really like Microsoft Clarity. I feel like it fires better on the website. It doesn't seem to have such of an impact on load. And I've really enjoyed using it and getting to know its insights. So it's definitely something to try out, especially if you don't have a big team that you need to be sharing everything with. Um, so yeah, have you tried either of them? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear it. Uh, just leave them in the comments below. If you have any questions about either of these, you can also do that. And as always, please like and subscribe. It helps us to bring more of this content to you about tools and tricks in the digital marketing field. Um, if you have any unanswered questions about analytics or running your website, please head over to our website, schedule a call with us. We'd be happy to talk to you. All right, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.